Heavenly Father, we gather in your presence with hearts open to receive your wisdom as we reflect on the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses 31 to 37. May your Holy Spirit guide us in understanding the profound lessons within your word. Grant us the discernment to apply these teachings in our daily lives. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Jesus' side is pierced. Now it was the day of preparation, and the next day was to be a special Sabbath, because the Jewish leaders did not want the bodies left on the crosses during the Sabbath. They asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken down. The soldiers therefore came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with Jesus, and then those of the other. But when they came to Jesus and found that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. The man who saw it has given testimony, and his testimony is true. He knows that he tells the truth, and he testifies so that you also may believe. These things happen so that the scripture would be fulfilled, not one of his bones will be broken. And, as another scripture says, they will look on the one they have pierced. This passage describes the aftermath of Jesus' crucifixion, to hasten death before the Sabbath. Soldiers broke the legs of those crucified. However, finding Jesus already dead, they pierced his side instead, fulfilling the prophecies that none of his bones would be broken and that he would be pierced. The flow of blood and water from Jesus' side is significant, symbolizing both his humanity and the outpouring of salvation. The fulfillment of these prophecies underscores the divine plan and Jesus' role as the Messiah. The eyewitness testimony reinforces the truth of these events, inviting us to believe in Jesus' sacrificial death and the fulfillment of God's promises. This passage calls us to reflect on the profound sacrifice of Jesus and the fulfillment of God's redemptive plan. It challenges us to deepen our faith and trust in the reliability of Scripture and the love of our Savior. Gracious God, we thank you for the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ, and the fulfillment of your promises. Help us to understand the significance of his death and the love it represents. Strengthen our faith as we reflect on the truth of your word. Guide us to live in a way that honors this great sacrifice. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.